Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to show you how to do video calibration for your Alarm.com video camera that requires it. Now, right now there's only two cameras that do require video calibration, and this is for video analytics for Alarm.com. So just keep that in mind. Before I jump in though, the one that we're going to be calibrating today is one of the two cameras that you can do this with, the ADC V723, which is this guy right here. It's a great camera, outdoor use and indoor, just wonderful, check it out. So to calibrate this for video analytics, we have to log in to the website user login. So if you have a phone or a tablet, keep in mind that the app that you've downloaded onto that device, you can't do the calibration through that app. What you actually have to do is load up a web browser, somehow find the alarm.com user login. If you Google alarm.com user login, you'll go right to the page, click on that, and then log in to that portal, and that actually lets you do the video calibration. So let's check it out. So on my iPad right here, I have the alarm.com app in the bottom, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna click on Safari, and we'll see that I'm already logged in to my profile. So from here, I'm gonna click the hamburger button in the upper left corner, and then do video, and then settings. Now on settings, you'll see the video device selected is the ADC V723. Down on the menu, what's that? Five down from the top, video analytics calibration is my option. So I'm gonna click that. Video object detection setup, blah, blah, blah. Yes, we want to go forward. Keep in mind that this does delete all of your video schedules. You'll have to add the ball back in. So do this before you finish your complete camera setup. I'm gonna hit okay. And now it's going through setting up video analytics on our ADC V723. If you haven't checked out video analytics yet on alarm.com, definitely do so because it adds a ton of great features to your video system. In fact, alarm.com video analytics puts it far out in front of all the competition right now as the things that it lets you do really open up your system and expand all of the possibilities that you're gonna get out of your feature set. One of the coolest things about it is that it can actually ID if it's a person, an animal, or a vehicle showing up on your camera. It's really neat because if you're away from the home and you get a text on your phone, you'll be able to immediately see if it's a car, a person, or an animal that's triggering the camera. That's just one of the many features though that it has and the combination that it lets you set up with the existing features on the system, really make the amount of possibilities very, very wide for what you can actually do with the system. So again, check it out. As you can see, video object detection was set up, video analytics setup was successful, and we can now create a video analytics rule on the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And here's the camera calibration. So to help the camera identify people and objects in the scene, we need to start off with a few good examples. So it says, please take a few moments to take five photos in different spots at very distances from the camera. You can hold it there, and then I'll hit the feed. If you hold the camera, you'll see me, and then we will be able to calibrate me. Like this thing. Yeah, you hold it up over there. Perfect, yeah, that's good, that's good. Awesome. So I have I have my coworker holding the camera up right in front of me, so let's try to do the calibration. I'm gonna hit continue. So I need to take five photos in different spots at very differences from the camera. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this photo needs to cover the entire body from the head to the bottom of the feet. So if we move the camera down, maybe just angle it down an inch. There you go. I'm gonna try taking the photo again. I think that you'll have a much easier time doing this on a computer or a laptop as performing these functions on a tablet, the video streaming isn't really built for the website <laughs> access through a tablet. So I know this is a mouthful, but really if you're gonna do this, get a laptop or get your desktop and have a friend help you out and you'll have a much easier time. Now, I've taken a shot where I have my head and my feet in the photo. That's what they've requested, so I'm gonna hit next. So now I need to get a photo in a different place. So I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna hit take photo. 
And there we go. So that's another one. Looks pretty good. And now I'm going to stand in a different spot and hit take photo. Pretty much can see my head and feet. Hit next. I'll stand in another spot over here and hit take photo. If we angle it down just slightly, let me try to retake it. There we go. And now I need one more. So I'm going to do another one in a corner that I haven't taken the shot in yet. Looks good. I'm going to take that photo. Looks great. So let me submit these. Thank you. Calibration's complete. I have been, I have calibrated the camera and now I have access to rules which can trigger recordings and notifications when your criteria is met. Those are the rules that I was telling you about before. The list is big though. So if you are curious about all the specific individual rules that you have with alarm.com, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to tell you all about it. I'm gonna click done as my calibration is complete. And that's it. Now our camera is ready for video analytics and we're good to go. If you do have any questions about alarm.com cameras, video analytics, calibrating a camera, or really anything at all alarm related, give us a call at 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or head to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.